So welcome back to the Jim Green Footwear channel. Today we're in for one seriously different review of a boot for you. And that is we've decided to come out to the Infolozi National Park and show to you a variation of one of our best selling boots. And that is the African Ranger Zero Drop. So rather than us sitting behind a, a table telling you about how our boots perform, what I've decided to do this time is break this pair of boots in for a full month and then come on a three day trail through one of the wildest areas in KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. And that is we are currently walking in 100,000 plus acres of pure wilderness. We started our walk earlier this morning. We did about seven kilometers and we've just come to our um, satellite camp in the middle of the wilderness. And if you wanna see more about the walk and everything that we're going through, we are gonna do a longer episode that you can then watch the, from start to finish and see the experience that we have gone through. So we're now back in the boring old office, but don't worry, we'll be back on safari in a couple of seconds. But I have now been wearing our African Ranger barefoot option for the past four months. And this is gonna be my review and breakdown of my experience using this boot. Some of you may be wondering how we got to this option, but it all dated back to January this year when I happened to be passing through Salt Lake City, Utah and Weston from Rose Anvil. We met up for a couple of beers and a couple months later, we have the African Ranger barefoot. Now he goes through this whole process and story on his Rose Anvil 2 channel where he does an unboxing and then on his main channel Rose Anvil he'll be doing a cut in half video which we'll be putting links to uh, in the video below. Those videos he does a deeper dive into the construction and the history of how we came, came to this boot but today I'm going to give you a first hand experience from the Jim Green factory of how I feel towards these boots. So one of the things we like to do here at Jim Green is put our new styles through a thorough test. So in front of me is my Houston brown pair from the video we've been watching. And one of the things you'll notice is that the sole is slightly different to this one compared to what is gonna be available for sale. So through this thorough testing and after about six weeks of wear, I noticed that on the heel of the boot, it wasn't wearing all that well. And that was due to the, due to the design. So myself and Weston, we hopped on the call and at the end of it, we decided that we really love this pattern for its grip and how functional it is. But all we needed to do was add a subtle change to the toe area and the heel, just so that the boots look a lot neater and wear a lot better with time. So you're probably wondering why there's an olive green pair in front of me. Now that is once again, one of our thorough tests and that is Later this year, our standard African Ranger will be coming out in a few different leather variations. And if the test continues to impress us, then this olive green will be a, a stock item. And if the sale of our barefoot boots goes well, then we'll know without a doubt be adding a few more uh, leather variations to that range. So enough from the boring office, let's head back onto the hark where I'm gonna give you my feedback while on the hark and some of my experiences over the past four months with the boots. So we'll see you back out there. For sizing reference, I wear a size 7 UK 8 US in all Jim Green boots and in the African Ranger barefoot, I went for the same and the fit is perfect. Now, the standard Jim Green fit is true to the brand of device. So if you're new to the brand, get sized up and I would suggest ordering as per what you get there. Now, being a barefoot boot, there are many ways to wear this depending on what feel you're after. So with our leather midsole and a half leather sock, I've worn my boots with thin socks throughout the duration. And on the odd occasion, as us South Africans do, I've even worn them sockless. So the boots don't come standard with an insert, but we have added to our website a new PU leather line molded option. So if you are wanting a little bit more comfort and not all that much barefoot feel, then what I suggest is ordering a size up from your Brannock device and then either inserting our Jim Green insert or anyone that you can get from your local sports or boot store. When I first put these boots on, I thought I would need an insert as they were slightly firm underfoot. But after a month of breaking, they became super comfortable and really flexible. Now, one thing about this hike that you may notice is that I'm carrying close on 20 kgs of weight. I was very lucky to have my wife join us and she was carrying the camera gear and as a result, I ended up with all her clothing in my backpack, which 
was a true test for how these boots would perform with a heavy load on the back. As a result of carrying quite a bit of weight on my back, post hike I did have some fairly stiff calves. Now this is all due to the barefoot feel. I have read up on how to transition into using barefoot boots, so if you are not familiar or have used barefoot boots in the past, do take some care before going on a 3 day hike into the African wilderness. To be open with you all, I never saw myself as a barefoot man, but it has been an unbelievable experience breaking these boots in and wearing them for the past 4 months. If I never had to test regular styles all the time, these would definitely be in my rotation and definitely an option for any upcoming hikes where I would like, to, like the benefits of a barefoot boot. One aspect of the boot that we fortunately didn't get to test out was can they outrun a rhino or elephant. Now as you can see from this elephant encounter, it was a pretty close, close call. From about 15 meters out, we bumped into two bull elephants that were sleeping behind some Timburti thicket. Fortunately, we both got quite a fright and as the elephants backed away, we gradually got to a safe distance and watched them walk off into the distance. So now I'm gonna run through this boot and tell you what we have changed to make it zero drop. So to start, the upper pattern has remained exactly the same. We've still got the genuine toe cap the reinforced facing, reinforced heel counter. The only thing that we have done that is not seen by the R is that we have removed the toe puff. So this is an unstructured toe which aligns with the whole zero drop specs. We have then developed a new last with zero toe spring. So basically for those of you that are familiar with Jim Green, we have taken our JG last, dropped the toe spring to zero and made it a little bit wider. So you can see here that there's a little bit of extra width uh, around the toes and obviously once again this combines with the unstructured toe, toe box. The next spec that a barefoot boot needs to meet is that it needs to be flexible and a good test is that it can bend in half easily both ways. Next we're going to chat about our midsole and what we have gone with here is a, is a veg tan and resin runner. And Inside the boot, there is zero arch support, making this as true as a, as a barefoot boot as we could make it. So next up, we're gonna chat on the outsole. So here, in true gym green fashion, we have kept that slightly rugged touch. A true barefoot boot, you should be able to feel everything underfoot, but with the option that we have gone for, it combines with a leather and resin runner midsole to give you that extra rugged touch while at the same time all that feel underfoot. One thing I'm very interested to experiment tomorrow on while we're walking is how thorns or the acacia thorns handle this thinner sole. So as you can see here from our walk today, okay, that's a very thin, a uh, very small thorn but I'm sure tomorrow we can go and find some much thicker options and see if they will go through this through this uh, sole and midsole. We've also got some uh, rhino dung uh, stuck in, um, in between the grooves here. So for myself, the biggest change that I've noticed wearing this boot for the last month and especially on the trail today was the lack of a steel shank. And that is every time I would walk over a small pebble a uh, log lying on the floor or up a steepish hill, I could feel that bend in the boot, that subtle bend in the boot very easily. And tomorrow, when we're doing 10 to 20 kilometers, depending on how the day goes, we're gonna touch more on all these specs that we have just covered. And right now, we're gonna go enjoy a cold drink around the fire. So we've broken off uh, one of the acacia thorns. Now we're going to do a very scientific test and see if this thorn with a bit of pressure will go through obviously the alt, outer sole and then we've got that uh, resin runner and then we've got the veg tan uh, leather midsole as well. Uh, before I do this I doubt it's going to get through there because by the time this thorn's gone through the rubber and hits the resin runner it's probably going to break off. Let's give it a go. Okay, so as I presumed, we 
we've hit the resin right now. I'm giving it quite a bit of force, still hasn't, oh there you go. Let's see how far we've gone in, not that far. Yeah, so as soon as it gets through and hits that resin runner, it seems to stop it. Okay, so after trying one uh, variant of the acacia, we've now got another variant which is called a sickle bush. And this has a, a very strong uh, thorn that won't bend as easily as the one we've just tried. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we went there. Oh, they have, ooh. Okay, so the thorn isn't, this one's not even bending. So I'd say that's quite a bit of force. Now let's go. even when this breaks off so I think what's happening here is that the thorns going in and as presumed as it hits that resin runner and the leather midsole as you can see it's it's quite a thick piece uh, and that's obviously sticking to our, our standard touch of ruggedness that comes with a pair of gym green boots we will also be giving away a pair of African Rangers zero drop boots for this video all you have to do to enter is hit that like button and leave a constructive comment in the section below telling us your thoughts on our take of a barefoot boot.